limiting uh, reagent, uh, which is also known as limiting uh, a reactant, defined as one which runs out first and determines the amount of product uh, formed. So in this case, we will need to, to determine between carbon monoxide and hydrogen uh, which of the two is a limiting reactant. Example, uh, methanol can be manufactured by combining gaseous carbon monoxide and hydrogen. Suppose 69.5 uh, grams uh, carbon monoxide reacted with 12.5 eight grams hydrogen. Calculate the theoretical yield. This is the chemical uh, equation. So the first thing we do is um, uh, uh, you balance the equation. So in this case, uh, uh, two hydrogens, four hydrogens. So we need a two here. Uh, so the equation is um, uh, balanced. Then now we calculate the moles uh, of reactants present. So in this case, uh, moles of carbon uh, monoxide, which is 69.5 grams, over uh, uh, molar mass, 28.01 grams, grams per mole. Uh, so this is uh, giving us uh, 69.5 uh, over uh, 28.01. Uh, we have 2.2. 8481 uh, moles carbon monoxide then moles of uh, hydrogen the mass of hydrogen which is 12.8 grams over 2.016 uh, gram per mole 12.8 uh, over 2.016 uh, we have 6.3 Four nine moles of hydrogen. So these are the moles of the reactants present. Then now uh, we find the mole ratio uh, as predicted by the uh, uh, equation. So the mole ratio of carbon monoxide to hydrogen here is one to to, to two. So we can say uh, more uh, carbon monoxide of moles of uh, hydrogen required so required meaning as predicted by the balanced equation we have one more carbon monoxide and two moles of, um, of hydrogen so here we have when we divide it, this is giving us uh, 0 0.5 then now let's look at the moles the more ratio uh, for the react the reactants, uh, uh, which uh, uh, in which is actually present, so we we'll say more carbon monoxide over more hydrogen. Actual. So actual. Now we compare the moles that we've calculated here. So moles of carbon monoxide, we have two point uh, four eight one over hydrogen. Uh, the moles of hydrogen calculated, we have 6.349. So when we divide, uh, 2.481 over 6.349. So this is giving us in 0 .0 0 0.3. So as you can see, uh, the more ratio for carbon monoxide to hydrogen is too small. Uh, 0 0.3 is uh, smaller than 0 0.5. So the actual is 0 0.3, while required is 0 0.5. So in this case, carbon monoxide it must be limiting. So carbon monoxide is a limiting reactant. So if the more ratio uh, actual had been greater than required, then uh, 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 meaning that the carbon monoxide was going to be in excess. So in this case, hydrogen is in excess because the actual is less than what is required. Then now we shall use 
the amount of uh, carbon monoxide to calculate the amount of uh, methane uh, produced. So more ratio of uh, carbon monoxide to methane is uh, one to one. So in this case, they have the same number of, of moles. So the more ratio, uh, more ratio of carbon monoxide, uh, more ratio to methane uh, is one to one, is one to one. Uh, so in this case, the moles of carbon monoxide that we have calculated is 2.48 moles, so which is equal to the moles of methane. So in this case now, we calculate the mass of methane uh, uh, produced, mass of methane, which will equal to moles times molar mass. So the moles of carbon monoxide, which is equal to the moles of methane, is 2.481. Um, moles times uh, the molar mass, uh, 32.04 grams per mole. So uh, the moles uh, cancel, we multiply uh, 2.481 times uh, 32.04. So this is giving us uh, 79.49 grams of, of methane. So the, this mass that we have calculated is what we call theoretical yield. So this is our theoretical yield. So suppose, suppose um, uh, uh, after conducting uh, an experiment in the lab, suppose uh, uh, you get uh, you get uh, uh, 56.5 grams. So now this is, this is uh, what we call actual, actual yield. Because the theoretical yield, that is the maximum amount that can be obtained from this reaction. But due to side reactions and some complications, uh, it is always it, it it's always uh, uh, less. So now we can calculate the percent yield given as actual actual yield um, over theoretical over theoretical yield times times hundred. So in this case, our actual yield is. 56.5 grams over theoretical 79.49 grams times 100. So now this is giving us, uh, uh, we divide, we multiply, so we have uh, 56.5 divided by 79.49 times 100. So this is giving us uh, 71.1%. So this is our percentage yield. So this is how we can determine. In the next uh, tutorial, we shall look at balancing redox uh, reaction. Thanks. Thanks for watching.